Chapter 4, verse 1. Masters, give unto your servants that which is just and equal, knowing that ye also have a master in heaven. Now, Paul instructs the Christian masters on how to treat their slaves. The slaves were to be treated fairly with equality. All right, verse 2. Continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. Now, these two words go together. Pray and watch. They are very vital. The experience of Nehemiah illustrate these two things. When the enemy tried to stop him from rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem, he did not throw in the tower. He didn't give up. He wasn't a quitter. He had this to say in Nehemiah chapter 4 and verse 9. Nevertheless, we made our prayer unto our God and set a watch against them day and night because of them. And this is what the Apostle Paul instructs the Colossian believers to do. Watch and pray. And it is to be done with thanksgiving. All right, look at verses three and four. Whether praying also for us that God would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mystery of Christ, for which I am also in bonds, that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. Here Paul asks the Colossian believers to pray that God would open a door of utterance to speak the mystery of the Christ. Paul had one thing on his mind, and that was to constantly get the gospel of Jesus Christ out. All right, look at verses five and six. Walk in wisdom toward, toward them that are without. Redeem in the time. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. Now, Every believer must do these three things here. The believer in Christ must behave with wisdom and with tact toward those who are outside of the church, those who are not saved. Number two, a believer in Christ must seize every opportunity to work for Jesus Christ. Number three, the believer in Christ must always have the right speech so that he may know how to give the right answer in every case or in every situation. What is the right speech? The right speech is a speech that is with grace seasoned with salt. It is a gracious seasoned speech that is always based on the word of God. All right, let's look at verses seven through, through 10. All my state shall Tychicus declare unto you, who is a beloved brother and a faithful minister and fellow servant in the Lord, whom I have sent unto you for the same purpose, that he might know your estate and comfort your hearts. With Onesimus, a faithful and beloved brother who is one of you, they shall make known unto you all things which are done here. Aritychus, my fellow prisoner, saluted you, and Marcus, sister's son to Barnabas, touching whom ye receive commandments, if he come unto you, receive him. We see here that Marcus here is John Mark, the nephew of Barnabas, the son of his sister. This verse here indicates that Paul and Barnabas settled their differences concerning Mark. Paul instructs the Colossian believers that if Marcus comes to them, receive him. All right, let's look at verses 11 through 18. And Jesus, which is called justice, who are of the circumcision, these only are my fellow workers unto the kingdom of God, which have been a comfort unto me. Epaphras, who is one of you, a servant of Christ, saluted you, always laboring fervently for you in prayers, that ye may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. For I bear him record that he hath a great zeal for you and them that are in Laodicea, and them in uh, Heropolis. Luke, the beloved physician, and Demas greet you. Salute the brethren which are in Laodicea and Nymphos, and in the church which is in his house. And when this epistle is read among you, calls that it be read also in the church of the Laodiceans, and that ye likewise read the epistle from Laodicea, and say to Achippus, Take heed to the ministry which thou hast received in the Lord that thou fulfill it. The salutation by the hand of me, Paul. Remember my bonds. Grace be with you. Amen. This letter was to be read to the church at Colossae and to the church at Laodicea. Paul concludes this awesome letter with remember my bonds. Grace be with you. Amen.